Hello, this is Stampy Longnose, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And I got a very special video for you here. Um, I'm showing you an absolutely incredible boat, and I'm here having a tour from uh, one of the builders, uh, Legion Hawkeye here. And um, this is a boat which was actually entered into the Gaming Lemons Top 5 Structures, uh, the Boats and Ships Edition, uh, as you may expect. And it won, it got the number one, so we truly are talking about uh, an absolutely spectacular build uh, of like a massive scale here. And uh, it looks incredible, and I've had a little look around by myself uh, before I recorded this video, so I have seen uh, a lot of this boat before, so none of this is going to be new to me, but um, I think that... If you're a fan of Minecraft and Xbox Minecraft, uh, then this is something that you simply have to see. And you may already be thinking like, whoa, this looks like a pretty big boat, but you have seen nothing yet. This boat goes on forever and I'm actually going to fly down uh, underneath the boat uh, because I think this is actually where you get... Uh, the best idea of how big it is and unfortunately uh, because we are here on Xbox Minecraft everything is of course uh, loading in really slowly which is annoying but uh, hopefully you're starting to get a good idea of just how massive this boat is it, it goes on forever and every single one of these little blocks was placed by hand and just to build like the side of the boat must have taken so long and I'm actually going to show you uh, on the map here like um, I'll go out in the sun there we go yeah, so if you think about uh, how big like an Xbox world is, um, like this fills up a pretty good portion uh, in the middle of this map here. And I think they actually had to place all the water as well. I'm not sure. I don't know if you can set it so that there is water everywhere. But yeah, I mean, just just look at it. Like, I mean, you can't see it all at once because it's just too big. And um, I just finished like building my boat, the SS Stumpy, and this has not just put it to shame, it's just made my boat completely irrelevant. I mean, I know I built mine in survival mode and maybe it was in creative, but still, this thing um, is absolutely incredible, it's huge, and it's not just massive, um, it's also detailed and it's built uh, in a really interesting way because um, it's not just a normal boat, it hasn't just got like some sails and some crew quarters and stuff like that. It's got a full village, like a town, uh, built on top of it. And I'm going to go up here and here's a good angle uh, to sort of look down. Look at it! There's a village on top of this boat. And um, he did explain briefly sort of the backstory. It's basically um, people like would sail around on it, like looking for land. And they would just live on the boat until like they came across land. And I'm going to fly down here. And uh, while on the deck, I'm going to give up flying. I'm going to take off my wings and uh, I'm going to walk around instead. Um... Yeah, so we can see here, uh, this is what the uh, the village looks like, um, very well designed, um, looks very pretty, very organised and very tidy, uh, there's some never warp there, uh, bright uh, red colours there, a nice little village here, a village, a uh, village, a nice little bridge here, uh, just over this water, and um, it just looks incredible, and like, you could just take this village and put it on some flat land, and it would still be a nice build as it was, but this is all here built on top of a boat, and um, it was it's a really original idea, and um, yeah, I, I just love this boat, it just looks uh, really cool, and um, I don't want to spend the entire video just saying, like, it's amazing, it's amazing. Um, I do want to sort of talk about uh, some of the stuff that is happening. Um, I'm not entirely sure uh, how many people uh, worked on this boat. Um, it has actually been featured on the uh, YouTube channel uh, Hawkeye Gaming Co., uh, who are a gaming channel that I've been in contact with for a little while now, and I've been planning to film quite a lot of their stuff, and this is uh, just their most recent build, and on their channel, uh, they're going to have a full trailer, uh, which is like an edited montage of like looking around this world, and I'm going to leave that uh, as a link in the description, as well as uh, just their channel in general. But let's have a little look around. Um, some of these buildings are furnished, some of them aren't. Uh, this is actually probably one of the uh, the best looking buildings. Uh, it's full of some enchantment tables. It's basically uh, like a library. But I love the ceiling. I love the pattern uh, that's done with the ceiling there. And uh, the amount of detail and time I must have taken just to like build all of these little buildings. And just like the man hours of placing all of these blocks like I mean the detail is impressive and it looks amazing but just placing all of like the floor like building this massive deck just going in row after row after row is just I don't know just some sort of like endurance building when you're building on this scale and something uh, that there's no chance I would do um seems like we got here is this someone's house or something there seems to be like 
uh, quite a grand table in here. You can see the backs of the chairs uh, are actually done with iron doors there, something I've never seen before. And is this like a shop or something? Can I buy something? Let's give him some gold and let's see if uh, he gives me anything in return. Oh, he's giving me a bone. There we go. Brilliant. Two gold for a bone. Um, not not the best deal I've ever done, I think. I think I might have actually uh, just been ripped off a bit there. I mean, come on, throw me a bone here. Jeez. Um, and up here we have um, oh, some little little sleeping quarters. Anything in the chest? Oh, some diamonds, um, some blaze powder, some flint. Yeah, and some other stuff. I don't really care about what's in there, to be honest. <laughs> and a couple potions in here. So, um, yeah, a, pre a pretty nice house. I'd be happy living on here. Actually, I probably wouldn't because I'd probably be seasick. Seeing as I am a cat, I don't think... Um, I'd fare too well uh, living on a boat, to be honest, being surrounded by water the whole time. But to be honest, like, unless you're in a massive storm, you don't really know you're on a boat here. Like, I could show anyone, like, any part of, like, this boat, and they probably wouldn't even realise they're on a boat unless they, like, jump into the water or something. And uh, I do actually have my fishing rod ready, so uh, later on I might try fishing off the side of the boat. I'm not entirely sure uh, what, the, what the reach on these fishing rods is. And I realise that... Um, I said I'd follow him around, but I've kind of sort of just uh, wandered off adventuring myself. Um, something cool as well at the end of the village, which you might just about get a sight of there, is that uh, massive building there, which is just like a huge hall type area. And it's absolutely huge. And uh, I'm going to show you there a little bit later on. Um, in here, we seem to have some sort of uh, storage room. I think these are like filing cabinets and uh, some more chests here, which I think I'm lagging a bit. Uh, so it's taking ages for me to open and a very nice uh, little compact area up here. I think this is where I'd like to live. A nice little uh, cozy attic in here where you've got everything you need uh, directly next to you. Quite a nice little cozy house down here. I don't need anything grand or expensive. <laughs> I'm happy just with my little bone, which I bought earlier, living in my little attic up there. <laughs> I don't know why I keep assuming like I'm going to move in here. Don't worry, I'm, I'm staying on my lovely world. Um, yeah, I mean, as always, I haven't learned too much about the world before I go around because I like to see as much of it as I can while I'm recording and just the design everywhere just all of the little details like the little beams up there and like the little cool pattern on the floor with the tiny little table um I don't know there are a few sort of oriental themes with like these small tables and uh, some of the designs on some of the roof as well have that uh, sort of oriental feel that you can like recreate so well in Minecraft and a nice little balcony Imagine living here. Imagine waking up in the morning and like going like, oh, another day and opening the door and seeing that as you look out your window. <laughs> I suppose like once you've seen it for a while, you'd kind of become a bit immune to it and it wouldn't look so amazing. And there's another floor as well. It's like building doesn't end. And this is what I really like. I love it when people build like these mega builds, you know, these massive, massive builds, but they still don't neglect all the little details like this is quite a like small dainty house but they've literally packed as much as they can into it and done so much detail like you think that after building like this whole massive ship they kind of want to say right we're done and not go and add all like, like the little stuff in but they have had I like added some amazing detail and uh, you can see there what I meant by all of the roofs which are built really well and do have that sort of oriental feel just a little bit um yeah, okay, moving on. Right, I'm going to I'm gonna follow him because um, I don't know if I'm going to miss out anything important. So um, I guess he knows where all of the best stuff is, seeing as he is the person that built it. And there was actually a, um, a little bit of controversy with this map, <laughs> which I might as well talk about. Um, I assume some of you might have seen it on the Gaming Lemons channel. He's probably uh, one of the biggest Minecraft Xbox guys out there. Uh, but there's a lot of people that were saying that uh, there's another world which should have won, like uh, number three. Uh, but, I mean, there's a bit of controversy because that world was an airship and apparently the Gaming Lemon said it was like, had to be a water ship. And, uh, of course, obviously, it's it's the Gaming Lemon's opinion. It's up to him at the end of the day. Like, the list is only based on his opinion. It's not what people vote for. And um, I must be honest, I did see the list and I did think that number three uh, was really incredible, but um, it was based of a uh, boat from a Final Fantasy game, I believe, uh, according to Legion Hawkeye. And I love this world just because it's so original. Like, I'm sure this isn't the only city that's on a boat, but it's the only one I've ever seen, and I've never seen anything quite like this. And it's just so competently built. It's so neat and tidy and, like, so well done. Like, I don't, I don't see why someone could be annoyed about this one being number one. They could say that, personally, they preferred another world, but I don't see why someone could like actually be annoyed and sort of 
say there's a scam or something because this world was number one. Because you can't say this world's not good, can you? I mean, you can't argue with the quality and the scale of this world. I'm pretty sure that this is uh, the biggest boat that was, like, submitted to the list. It was certainly uh, the biggest one out of the top five. Um... I also want to do a, a quick mention of Comic1111 because um, he was also in the list but then again um, he does seem to be in pretty much every single one of uh, the Gaming Lemons list and he was number four I believe he got and uh, he didn't build one boat he built like I, I don't know how many boats he decided instead of building one massive boat he would build uh, loads of different type of boats and uh, yeah he got number four uh, which I, d I don't know how happy he is with that I haven't spoke to him uh, but I mean he's in the list again he can't be too annoyed and uh, it looks like the sun is beginning to go down now uh, which might mean it's a good time uh, to hear go inside seek some shelter and uh, have a look inside this grand hallway and look at this how incredible is this like this building by itself is worth going wow about but the fact that this is just sort of here, plonked on top of this massive boat with this town, it's amazing. Look how look how tall it is. I'm hoping that like how good this looks in the game is really working in the video, and you can tell how good it is. I mean, it is getting dark now uh, because the sun's getting down, but Legion Hawkeye uh, is just shoving down some torches quickly now uh, for a bit of extra lighting. But just look at that ceiling. Um, I'm actually going to break gravity a little bit and have a fly around just uh, just to go up here, so you can have like a look at what it looks like here. And look at it. How awesome does that look? Especially with those torches down there as well. Look at the pattern on the floor. Must have taken ages and just all of the detail on the ceiling. It's it's amazing. And I don't want to sound like I'm being fake and I'm not actually this enthusiastic. But I am. This place uh, is incredible. And um, I'm now going to take a look around the edge of like the, uh, the ship. Around like this outer ring which goes around uh, the entire length of the ship. And I just wish. I just wish I was doing this on PC and I could set it so the draw distance is further and I could like literally see the entire ship because it does keep cutting off. Uh, but it looks like we're going to have a wander around here now to the uh, the front of the boat and show you what's around there. And uh, then I'm going to have another quick flyby and show you what the world looks like at night. Uh, this is the uh, front of the ship now, I believe. I'm kind of losing my bearings a bit and you can see a cool pattern there on the wall and another nice little lit up lake down there and uh, a cow and a pig just sort of wandering around there as well. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of having all the farm animals. And I was actually saying to uh, Legion Hawkeye before I recorded, uh, this would actually be an amazing setting uh, setting for a Bioshock game. Like, the uh, first two were set in Rapture, like, under the sea. And then uh, Bioshock Infinite, which is just about to come out, has been set in, like, the sky, like, in a floating city. But I think a city on a boat would be a really cool setting for a Bioshock game. And uh, Legion Hawkeye did also let me know that uh, they are putting this um, world up for download as, like, a Hunger Games map. And they haven't completely finished this world, as you've probably seen in this video, uh, but they're going to convert it into a Hunger Games map so you can actually uh, play on this map. And I think having a boat for a Hunger Games map really does make sense because there's very obvious boundaries and you can't escape the map into the water. And uh, it should be really good fun, so hopefully uh, once it's up for download, I'm going to get someone to download it for me. And uh, yeah, we can have a, a few games of the Hunger Games on here. Uh, but before we end the video, I am going to sort of fly up into the sky one more time. I know I don't normally fly around in these videos. Uh, but just to sort of see the ship in its full glory I think you do need to sort of float above it a little bit and I'm going to do uh, one last fly by here of the ship and sort of uh, show you what it all looks like from above because I haven't shown you properly and just look at the detail like everywhere all of the little tiny nooks and crannies and all the little like slopes and blocks that they've added everywhere I mean, I don't know why some people were annoyed about this getting first place. I mean, you can't say a bad thing about this world. It looks absolutely incredible. The design work is fantastic and just the time it took. And it's not just like the more time you put into it, the better it will be. They've spent time obviously planning it and adding so many little details. And there's such uh, quality builders that have made this. Um, as I said, you can check out the channel uh, Hawkeye Gaming Co. Uh, they make loads of massive builds like this. They built this in just two weeks, uh, so you can imagine some of the other stuff they built, and I strongly do recommend uh, you, do, uh, you do go and check out their channel. There'll be a link to that in the description, and also check out the trailer that they made themselves showing off this world. Uh, but that's my time here. I'm going to go now, uh, seen as I'm a cat, and do a little bit of fishing, and then um, I'm going to have a few, <laughs> see if I can catch some dinner, and then that will end the video here. Let's see if I can actually um, oh god, there we go. Let's see if I can actually catch a fish from here. 
Is it going? Oh, it's still dropping. No, no. I got, I've got no chance of getting near the water there. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get one uh, final glance of the ship from the front, and then that will end the video here. So hopefully you have enjoyed this, and if you want to see some more mega builds uh, built by these people, uh, hopefully I'll stay in contact with them and show you some of the things that they've been building since this. But that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye!